name's Becky Orpin. I'm an artist based in Melbourne. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make this park in a box. Um, I know it's pretty hard to grow the park at the moment, so I thought this is a way you can make your own park. Um, I've just used a shoe box, but you can use any kind of box you have lying around the house. Um, first, I'm going to take you through the materials that you might need. Uh, first of all, we've got some coloured paper, a whole different variety of coloured paper. Um, some paints. I'm using acrylic paints, um, but you can use anything that you have, even if you have some house paint lying around, that works really well. Some string. Um, you can either use glue or I've got double-sided tape and regular tape. Um, you only need one of these. Um, glue is probably the most, the easiest. Um, you need some, the template, um, which you can download from the website. And then, of course, you need a box. So the first step is to trim down your box. Um, you can do this using your scissors. Um, this one is obviously got a lid on it, um, but if you have a different type of box, just trim it down so it's just this area. And don't throw out this because we'll need that later. Um, so the first step is to paint the inside of the box, which can take a little while to dry. So you do that first so that while you're doing the other bits, um, it dries. So I'm just doing some blue for the sky. And mix up a good colour. Um, next we're going to paint the green doesn't matter if the colors kind of blend in together the other way you could do it if you don't have any paint you could also cover the sides with colored paper cutting it out and just sticking it on the inside as well um, but I had paint, so today I'm using paint. So while we're waiting for the inside of the box to dry, we're going to cut out the pieces that stick on the inside as well. So you can see here on mine, I've done some clouds out of some different types of white paper, um, a tree, Put in a little bush there, put in a little bird, a sun and a path. But you can put in anything that you like really. Maybe you'd like to put in some things that are actually in your park. Um, so I guess have a think about it. Um, I like to sometimes draw on the paper before I cut it out. So it gives me a guide of where I'm cutting. Um, but you don't have to do that, you can freestyle if you like. Other things I like to do is add a lot of faces to things so I think this sun definitely needs a smiley face. There we go. Okay let's stick the tree together too. We've got clouds, some trees. Oh, this is another bush that I cut out earlier. We can use that too. I'm going to make a bird. I just put a very simple 
bird shape, maybe a little tail. Bird can sit in a tree, wherever you like. There we go. Bird definitely needs an eye. Let's give it an eye. Maybe a little wing. What about a yellow beak? I don't know if this will work, but let's try. Oh yeah, a little bit of a yellow beak. And then the other thing you might I like to put in mind is a, is a path, so like a winding path. So let's just do something like this. You could also put in a lake, or uh, there's lots of other animals you could include. Um, maybe a dog. Don't really see cats at the park, but you could include a cat if you wanted to. So here are the pieces that we made. The clouds and our sun and our bird to go into the tree and then our path. Um, okay, so now we need to stick our pieces in. One of the things I would say is think about the order you want to put things in. So I guess the clouds want to go in first. So one the cloud there. Another cloud, maybe down here. Um, and then you can put your tree in. If you want to see this one, I put the tree in the corner. So I'm going to do that again. You can fold it before you put it in like that so you've got the crease for the corner and then it will kind of sit in pretty nice and easy like that let's put this let's put this one here oh, and let's not forget our sun and a little bird put the bird in the tree We've got one more bush. Let's put this behind that one. Probably would have been smart to do that before, but we can still slide it in. There we go. And with the path, let's put the path down here. Yeah, let's put it down there. There we go. And there we have our background. Next, we're going to use the template, which you can download, and we're going to create the person which goes on the swing. Um, you can just use the template as is, um, or you can cut it out uh, out of a thicker piece of paper, which is what I'm going to do. Um, you'll see also on the template, there's some dotted lines. So you need to know where those things are because they show where you need to fold, um, which is important to get the person to fit on the swing. So I'm using a piece of slightly thicker card, but it's not necessary. Um, I just had it and I like cutting things out, so I'm going to do it. This is a bit of a wacky technique for cutting things out. Um, the other thing you can do is cut out the whole template and then trace it onto the card or as I said you can just cut it out straight from the printout. Um, one thing if you do cut it out onto a separate piece of paper you will want to mark out where you need to fold. That's pretty important. So you can kind of just put it like this. Get a piece of paper and you can kind of mark it out where it is. So it's like here, and it's here. Keep going across, just so you know for later. You can also just guess if you like. I like guessing. All right, now this person needs some hair and maybe some clothes. You can definitely do that um, just with some textures or some pencils, but I'm going to add hair and clothes out of cutting out more pieces of paper because I love cutting out pieces of paper. So 
much. I'm going to give him some blue pants. Um, so I'll trace this out. Cut that out. Some pants for the person. And then I'm going to give them a purple top. Okay, so we've got a top and a bottom. And I'll just stick them on with glue. I know this will cover up the marks. Um, one thing you could do, and if I was smart, I would have done it too, is glued this onto the reverse and then I would still have the marks but I wasn't smart enough to think of that so I'm just gonna have to improvise. So now we need to make the base of the swing and this is when we can use any excess cardboard um, which we chopped off before. Um, it's good to use this kind of thicker card for the base of the swing because we need it to be a little bit solid. Um, you just want it to be wide enough so that she can sit on it. So I guess if you measure and she'll be able to fit on there. Um, and the next thing you need to do is pierce some holes on either side of this piece. So you might want to do this. And I guess this could definitely be something where you need an adult's help because um, you need to sort of use the scissors in a little bit of a dangerous way, uh, which is poking this through. If you have a Stanley knife, then you can use that. But I would definitely recommend that you get your parents to do this. Or if you want to do it, make sure your parents are there while you do it. And then you have two holes like this. Um, and now what you need to do is put the string through. So we want to cut two pieces of string at roughly the same length. Make sure they're kind of long so you've got lots of um, room to um, cut off the top when if you need to. It's, it's, it's easier to cut off than it is to um, deal with something that's too short. So you thread that through there. You could secure it with a knot but I'm going to secure mine with some tape. So that's one side and then you want to put the other side. That is going to be a pain to get through. A little bit of a pain, of course. Okay, there we go. Oh, and that's, then we have the swing. The next thing we need to do is, is put some holes in the top of the box for the swing strings to come through. I've already done mine, but this is definitely another thing where your parents should help because sometimes there's a few layers of cardboard to get through um, and it can be a little bit tricky. Um, and dangerous, so I definitely suggest that you get your parents to help. And then you take the strings, pop it in there, why is one side always so easy and the other one is always difficult? Great. And you can get it so she's kind of even. And then tie it to secure it. Oh, she's quite high. Oh, that's cute though. And then also what I would do is then cut it. and 
just put a bit of tape on it to hold it in place. And then there you have your pipe in a box. There you go. Your own pack in a box. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy and I'd love to see some pictures of your creations if you do like it. Bye bye.